As I told you in this video, lots of people are having problems with the Valve Index controllers. Now, I unfortunately also have problems with my Valve Index controllers and Valve is going to replace them with new ones. Now, in this video, I'm going to let you know about my experiences with the Valve customer service and I'm going to explain exactly how you can have your Valve Index controllers replaced as well if you're facing the same issue like most of us. And all of this goodness is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here. If you're just as excited about VR and ARSME and if you appreciate independent reviews, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. All right, so these are really going back to Valve and hopefully I'm going to get new ones that work perfectly. As I told you, I have the problem that if I use the thumbstick and if I tilt it and try to click it, this click is not being registered by the controllers and it also doesn't click. Now, lots of people actually have this problem and honestly speaking, I haven't met a single person in my VR circle of friends who doesn't have this problem. So it is a really big problem, it seems. And still, until today, Valve has not acknowledged this problem. I think that is actually the real problem. But anyways, they are taking my Valve Index controllers back and now I'm going to tell you about the process. So I did send in a ticket and I did get the following reply. Before we get to their answer, let me first read out to you what I wrote to them. Hello, my Index controllers have the thumbstick click issue. They do not click when moving forward. I've already checked if they register, click at all, and they do not. They are broken. What to do? And well, then I received the following reply, and it's the typical standard reply that they simply send to everyone with this issue, no matter what they wrote. So again, I told them mine are broken. Now here is the reply. Hi there. Sorry about the delayed reply. Thank you for letting us know about your experience with the thumbstick. What you're describing sounds like the expected performance for the Index controller. The expected performance for the Index controller is that they are broken. <laughs> now, that is pretty funny, I think. Anyways, so the message goes on to let me know what I should try to see if they register at all. And well, they do register but only if I use excessive force. And that's what I wrote to them. And then I said, as stated in the original message, they do not register or only with using excessive force, which makes them not usable. How do we go about this problem? For this kind of money, expect a controller that works flawlessly. And then, well, yeah, I did get a reply. Hi, Sebastian, if the thumbstick is not functioning normally and you would like a replacement, please let us know. And well, I did let them know that I do want to have a replacement and I got a very fast answer and then they said within 24 hours I'm going to get a prepaid return label that I simply have to print out and I can simply bring them to DHL and they're going to be sent back and I'm going to receive new <laughs> Valve Index controllers within two weeks free of charge. Good, so I must honestly tell you that I'm pretty happy about this. I'm really happy that I didn't have any more problems. They sent me that return label very fast. And yeah, I'm going to send them in tomorrow. And then once I got them back directly, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to try live if they have actually solved the problem, if now they will register that click when the, the thumbstick is tilted and if this is probably going to be a happy end because I really want this to be a happy end since these controllers, in my opinion, are the best controllers on the market right now. So I do want them to work flawlessly. And I still think that Valve has to acknowledge that they have a problem because now so many people are thinking, hey, should I actually buy them? It's like a lottery. Do I win the lottery and get ones which are working or do I lose the lottery? So at this moment in time, as long as they don't acknowledge they have a problem, I would advise you not to buy the Index controllers and wait until the whole thing is solved and everyone gets perfect Index controllers. 
Now, if you are also an early adopter like me, and if you also got those flawed index controllers where it wouldn't click when tilted or where the click wouldn't register at all, then now I'm going to teach you how to send a ticket to Valve and how to actually get them replaced, like just like how they replaced mine. Because I did get quite a few emails and comments which asked me, hey, how can I send in a ticket? I don't find it. So let me show that to you now. All right, so you log into Steam and then you go to support. And here in support, you go to, you scroll down to Steam hardware. And here you click on Steam VR. And here you click on Valve Index. And here you click on Valve Index Controllers. And now here's the Index Controller troubleshooting. Very funny, there's no mentioning about this problem at all. You scroll down, you scroll down, and then what you do is you click on Contact Steam Support. And then you scroll down and you click on Contact Steam Support again. And then you can write your message. Now for me, you can see the message that I wrote on 9th of July, but you can write a fresh ticket and a fresh message to Valve telling them that you have a problem with your Valve index controllers and that the click doesn't register. Or you tell them you have to use excessive force and it's not what you expected and you would like to replace them with working ones. All right, that's it for this video. Now I really want to hear from you. Do you face the same problem like me and like lots of other people? And are you going to send your Valve Index controllers back as well? Please do let us know in the comment section below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then why don't you give it a thumbs up? And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.